Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. Right now we're going to do some really fun roping with Cowboy Ted Hallis. He's going to teach us all about it and all the activities that they have going for kids in school all across the state as well. Ted, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Excellent. Thanks for, Thanks for joining me. Yeah, I appreciate it. Now we're going to teach you a little bit of this. And right on. Um, like I told you a little bit off camera, we were up doing this with kids at South Summit Elementary in Camas yesterday. Taught about 100 kids how to rope. Oh, wow. Wow. We're actually doing organized activities during lunchtime up there, and they have an arts kids program where we do our life skills and different things after school. So we're going to do this one Prepping. up there on March 14th in their after school program. And then this is going to be the fitness activity. Awesome. And then we'll show them how to make dream catchers for the arts activity. Oh, cool. That's excellent. And then we tie in the life skill of the same thing with the dream catcher. You let the good stuff come through, just keep the bad, bad stuff, stuff out. So negative on. thoughts. Let's let them go. So really kind let of the good prepping care. kids for life in a, in a really creative and cool way, right? That's and just let them have fun. And let them have fun. That's yeah, the biggest so part. A lot of retention is if you're having fun, you're going to do that. So we're going to teach you guys how to rope just like we talked okay. them yesterday. Awesome. Fantastic. And you've Sounds done great. this. You're an expert? I, not, I would okay. not call myself an expert, but I have done it before. I used to rope when I was a, a younger kid. I actually grew up on horses and stuff like that. So awesome. it was fun. This is going to be a so cool little. This will little, be a little bit easier for you. A little bit. I'm going to teach you because right this on. is your first Sounds time. Good. This is Cal, yeah. our director Cal. here. He's going to show us how to You're going to use your dominant hand. Again. You're going to hold it with your dominant hand, fingers like facing the ceiling. Okay. Squeeze it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You're going to throw this part out because you don't need that. Okay. You're going to hold that in your non-dominant hand. Right on. And then you are just going to come out to the side. You don't do overhand when you're doing roping because, okay. as you know, yep. you'll rope yourself <laughs> or your horse will hate you. <laughs> right and on. he'll also duck out and guess where you end up. Oh, right on the, on ground. the ground. Right, right on. on. So, so just give it a try. Give it a try. Close. Now, close. Close. That's close. Because when we talk to the kids, we tell them as many as it takes. We do okay. completion rather than competition. There so we go. have them stay there until they're successful. Then we have them throw their hands up and celebrate. Okay. So awesome. let's let's learn a little bit more about the Arts Kids program while you continue. Yes, while you definitely. get this rope, this steer here. How so? How long has it been Hold going? It tight. Throw your hands up. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> we've, been, we've been doing Arts Kids since 1999, and uh, they hired me to bring the Cowboy Ted program in to supplement. Okay. But the Arts Kids program is a life skills program that is supported by the expressive arts. So we're looking at dance and video production and audio production in addition to painting and ceramics and different things like that. And now we're growing our program into Salt Lake Valley and throughout Utah. So we just got approved, I'm really excited. We just got approved to be in 16 summer programs in the Salt Lake wow. City School District this summer from June to July. Some of the stuff we'll do like this, mostly like the dream catchers and, and dance and different things like That's that. Awesome. Uh, we're going to do some collaborative things with the Kimball Arts Center and do some Saturday programming right where we'll have some classes for kids and adults. But the core of ours it, that makes us a little different than some arts programs is the life skill part of it. So we're going to teach kids life skills, coping skills, communication skills without emphasize it a whole lot of that. We just want them to have Without the lecture, I think is a great way to do it because yeah. these kids are already are in school all year long, so summer they're looking ready to get out and just have a good time. So you guys are teaching them these important skills, but in a really fun way that's going to stick with them. And like you said, when you're having fun, you're going to remember it. So yeah. that's something that, that's going to stick with them. I was curious, the way the kids sign up for these programs, is it through the schools that offer them, or is there a yes. way that they can get in contact? Uh, what if someone's not part of a school that, that doesn't have this program? Can they still maybe join? Yeah, at the you can go program. directly to me, and my email is just ted at arts-kids.org. Our website is arts-kids.org, and they can go to that and, and volunteer or sign up. We're going to do some more summer programming in Park City, in Summit County, in Wasatch County for summers and Saturdays because we're finding out that kids are just taxed out. They're doing soccer. They're doing yes. gymnastics. They're doing all these things in school. So let's do some Saturday and summer school, and we're going to offer some of these programs in libraries as well. So we're going to kind of adapt ourselves and come out to the kids and not just make it a school activity. I'm going to have you guys do one awesome. more thing yeah, as absolutely. you warm up for the big <laughs> roping session. Okay. Is what are we, we doing we're now? We're teach some trick roping. Okay. Awesome. So you're going to just do little circles with your wrist. And this one we've glued in so there's a little bit of success that's built in. Then once you get going, you just kind of slow it down. And that's what we kind of emphasize to kids, too. It's like, once you get going, just slow just down. Just slow down. Slow yeah, right that's down. great. So Keep you're connecting calm. some really great kind of life lessons and, and coping skills and stuff like that in through these lessons. I want to, like, try and be a pro here and step through it, but I don't think that's going to happen. I wouldn't do it that yeah. way. <laughs> now, you're going to hand yours to him and see if he can do it with both hands. Okay. 
You were a nice guy because you tried to keep it going. <laughs> trying to keep it going. There you got it. Oh, left hand is oh, not so good that? there. Uh, it's left hand though. is not so good. It's very difficult to get both sides of our hands working at the same time, mm -hmm. but when we do that, we engage both sides of our brain, and that increases academic performance and everything else. Sure does. And if we have Thank time, you. I'm going to teach you some cup stacking where we do the same thing. Use both hands at the same time in a cup stacking activity. In a cup activity. stacking activity. So the kids engage both sides of their brain. There's empirical research that says academic performance goes up when you're using both hands. It makes sense that if you're going to use your non-dominant hand, it's going to do it's something different for your brain as well as your reflexes. So you ready to rope the bull? Uh, let's do it. I'm ready. <laughs> I think this is great. You. you guys are coming up with some really great and creative ways to kind of teach kids in a, in a really fun way that they're going to really enjoy, right? So yeah, hopefully. OK, hopefully let's see if, let's see the if I have these skills still. There it is. First Amber. try. Certified cowboy. How about that? Very nice. Good <laughs> I job. need a cowboy hat, Ted. Here you go. Here we go. All right. I'm going to head on out to break right now. We're going to come <laughs> back and we're going to do you got it. some fun cup stacking right when we come back. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I got my really trusty steed here right now. I'm about to compete in a little bit of a horse race brought to you by Art Kids here. And Ted, explain to us why this is important for kids, right? You were telling me during the break that this is really helping the gross motor skills development of, yeah. for children. And, well, like we mentioned before, we would just want this to be fun. But at a certain point, we want to explain this to after school programs, to educators, that it's like, why are we doing this? For this one, the stick horse race will help kids with gross motor skills. Just being able to get around and to move and to do some different things. There's research that's coming out that's saying kids that are starting in kindergarten are not prepared. They don't have the fine motor skills, except for their thumbs, to even open a container wow. of glue or do different things. Interesting. So we're trying to do some of that even in some preschools now. The stick horse race will handle the gross motor skills and movement. We'll, we'll come over here and do cup stacking, yes. and that'll get a little more of the fine motor, the fine skills. motor skills. But on this one, you're just going to weave zigzag through, through. Just so like a small zigzag. Horse a little example of what the kids are doing to develop those motor skills. I challenge you, Cal. Okay. Let's get it done. All right. All right ready? It, one, two, one, two, three. <laughs> you guys are awesome, and the, so the fun, emphasis though. that we make when we do these programs too is collaboration, completion, not competition. So if the kids are like, "Do I have to run my fastest?" It's like, no, do what you want. This do what you want. This is for fun, <laughs> really, right? That's yep. the big part. So let's talk you guys about did the awesome. Let's talk about the cup. Good, good yeah, job, I'm buddy. Good job, Cal. <laughs> Cal, that's our director, Cal. There. Oh yeah. Just thanks to Cal. Good so job. this is more fine motor right, skills, yeah, then, sure. right? This yes, is developing man. the the quick little fine movements, dexterity stuff like that. And this is cup stacking. And also, it's going to do like we mentioned before. This is when you use both hands at the same time. It engages both sides of your brain at the same time. So this is an awesome activity. There's a cycle where you do a three six three a 6'6", six, six, and a one ten one. The world record holder can do all of them in less than five seconds. I've seen, I've seen the, the kids that can do this extremely fast, and it has always been mind-blowing to me to see how fast they can get it done. So it looks see. like it's Photoshopped. Right, they just, yeah. They just, so yeah, they yeah, you and I do it, we're going to say, uh, we're not going to make uh, You might be able to make <laughs> no, it in five no seconds. Way. I will not make it in five seconds. But so. we're going to set these up in a three, six, and three. So a three, a six, and a three. And I'm going to move oh, okay. over to the side. Sweet. Okay. So if you want to watch me on the first one, then we can pattern it, and then we'll just move. Do you want to do the whole cycle? Yeah, let's try okay. it. I'll try it out. Let's so see. we're going to use both hands at the okay. same time. So you just, you're going to work one stack at a time. With the other one, you're going to take. Are you ready? Okay. Three in one hand. Three in one hand. Two in the other, leave one down. Two in the other, okay. Then side by side, on top, on top. And then, then this go to one the other again. stack. <laughs> Then you go back, and this is also, we're kind of talking about STEM, okay. so we're doing the science, the technology, engineering, the engineering. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Then you go back to where you started, okay. bring down the first ones, and we call this the down stack. <laughs> you guys are too good at this. Then we're <laughs> <laughs> Cal, you struggling I've actually on never that? done it before, so. <laughs> we're going to shift this one over and make two stacks of six now. So here's okay. our math. Okay. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to take three in one hand, two in the other. So three in one hand, two we'll in the make other. A pyramid. Okay. Jeez, I. <laughs> now I need one more, don't I? Yep. Cheating over here. here. We're going to do three in one hand, two in the other. Three in one, one hand, down. two in the other, and leave one down. 
I can't go. see five seconds. I can't now we're going to down stack that one. We still have one more round, too. And he does all three of these in five seconds. <laughs> Less than five. Less than five seconds. So here's wow. the last one. Okay. You're going to take all 12 cups. Okay. You're going to put two off to the side. You're going to take five in one hand, four in the other, leave one down. And if you kind of use your pinkies, it helps to release them. Okay. So you're going to put two next to them and one more so you don't knock it over. And one more, okay. So it needs to be like that. Then you're going to put one in the middle. Okay. So <laughs> I'm like already confused here. Yep, you're okay. good. Now on each side. Now on each side. And two up here. And, and then the one, one on the top. top. Then you're going to take each cup. And the thing is, our brain as adults, we want to go this way for some reason. Okay. This hand has to follow this hand. Kids get it. Adults don't. Because so we want to like separate, separate, right? No, mm -hmm. we want to stay together. You want together. to stay together. Okay. So watch me before you okay. do yours. This one follows this hand. Then this cup comes up, goes to the outside. This one that got all the cups, you're back to the wow. three, six, three. Okay, so from here I'm going to go this way. Yes. Then this way. That wasn't supposed to happen. That wasn't supposed to happen. So one this hand one. here okay. to the outside. Push it. These go to the middle. These go to the middle, and we're back, back to, to our set. Three, six, three. Three, six, oh, wow. three. Okay. And the world record can do all three rotations less than five In seconds. In less than five, five seconds. seconds. That That's is crazy, <laughs> because I, to tell you the truth, to start this all over again, I don't even know where to begin. I think it's right here and here, and then he's stacked there. But yep. I can see absolutely how this develops those fine motor skills, as well as the quick math, the quick thinking, and the uh, in involving both sides of the brain. I think it's a great way to to get that done. So. Yeah, and as much as we're trying to incorporate all of the physical activity and come in, we know that kids want to use their electronic devices. So I have Cowboy Ted and Friends on YouTube. Oh, we great. have a new Arts Kids on YouTube, so we can reinforce those so those kids or adults say, I don't remember how to do this. It's like, let's go watch a three-minute YouTube and then do it. And then so do our thing it. is, Perfect. get outside, get active, get healthy, but we get them, we deliver it electronically so then they can go and do it. And again, what's the, the name of the YouTube channel? Cowboy Ted and Friends. Cowboy Ted and Friends. And then Friends. we've got Arts Kids where we're putting the life skills onto those and some minor arts activities that they could do at home. Perfect. Well, Ted, thank all you right. so thank much for you. coming on and sharing all this with us. You guys hey, are doing thank great you work. Thank you so much. Congratulations on all of the new schools that you guys have got into down in the valley. So and again, where uh, people can contact you directly, right, if they want to yes. get their kids involved with their school that their kid goes to is not involved with this program. What's the website? It's arts-kids.org. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks. We're going to be wrapping up here on the Mountain Morning Show as we come back after this break. Don't go anywhere.